Hello, it's Kristen from Life of Crafting, and I'm just going to do a haul video. This is something I've been um, kind of gathering up for the probably the last like two weeks or so. Having watched a lot of people with their haul videos and what they're doing, I just fell in love with some of this stuff. I will tell you that I love Christmas. I love all of the, the coloring and the designing and um, some of the fun but elegance. There's so many things Christmas. So I am probably going to be one of those channels that focuses a lot on Christmas. And I apologize if that's not the kind of person you want to watch. But this is where I'm at. So I believe all of these stamps are Christmas and I know the paper is. So getting down to it, I fell in love with this stamp. It was part of a lot. And I'm going to start off because it was this one. It was this one. I'm going to just put all of these aside. Oh, sorry. Wiggling the camera. So these all came as a lot. And it was on Facebook Marketplace. Um, you know what? I think this was part of it too. Yeah, and this was part of it too. This was not. So this was the lot. And I'm saying this because I bought all of this and I wanted this stamp and I wanted this stamp. And I know Crafty Bean, Miss Tina, was just going through some suggestions of, you know, if you're going to buy, and I should have listened to her because the listing did not show the background. And the way these were positioned, I thought this stamp was going to be much bigger. I still like Santa. This is a stamp, uh, oh, PSX Santa. I should have looked. Um, he looks great. He's new, but I, I was expecting something bigger because I wanted him on the card front. But you know what? Still love him, so I'm keeping him. This was one that was in there. Um, I'm not really sure if this is my style. This is from a Judy Kins, and I'm not sure that um, I'm going to keep this. This is a 2401H, so I'm probably going to be trying to sell him off shortly. This was the one that I really like. couldn't wait to try. This is a rubber stampede, and it's called Country Santa. And I sh this is where I should have listened to Tina because they never showed the backside. And if you look, this thing has been put down on something hot. His face is two um, dimensions. This is completely burnt off. There's so much smudging. I wound up having to email the person and... Um, we agreed on a 50% refund because these were the two, like I said, I really wanted. And this one is completely worthless. I'm not even donating this. Honestly, as we, you're going to hear the sound. I'm going to put it in the trash right now because there's nothing anybody could have done with that. These three are cute. I may keep them. This, to keep it going and quick, is another rubber stampede. And it's warm wishes for the holidays. Cute. Mm, not sure if I'm doing anything with that. This was really a cute postage stamp with Santa on it. I definitely think I want to keep it. It's an Inka Dinka Do, and it's a 95667. It says four of seven. So my guess is there's more to this um, set. I don't think I really need to have it, but hey, you know, if I need to get the rest of that collection, that's great. And then this is another Inka Dinka Do, and it says it is 95667. No, this is the same series. This is seven of seven. So these two were part of a set. They're cute. So we'll see what I can do with those. Um, this was one I had gotten off of eBay. And I loved this and thought, what a great background stamp. But again, I didn't get dimensions. And it's called Sweater Square. And it's from Stampendous. Um, it's, it's much smaller. This is like... Ooh, like a three and a half inch. So again, my my fault, my fault. Um, but I still think I can do some some backgrounds with that. Then I saw Jill um, Jill Norwood had um, some of this on her um, channel, and I don't remember which video why she focused on this with the angels. So I found this on eBay as a listing, and I believe. You know, I think there was another stamp, and I've already put it in the, um, I think maybe I've already donated it. This is a Stampendous from 2008, and um, I don't, oh, it's smudged off. Something tree, uh, cherub tree trio, I think is what it's supposed to say. 
I have some really good um, ideas. I want to do something with like watercoloring and I'm not a color person that colors. Like I'm not really that good with it, but I can see some ideas with this. So um, I want to do that and probably try and do it as like a learning thing because if you don't, like I don't color, I think there's some easy ways you can do some stuff with that. These came with it. May your peace be your gift at Christmas and your blessing all year through. Um, this is from Stamp Pendus called Christmas Peace. Eh, I may keep it. Never know. Um, sometimes I don't have um, a saying. So if I want to put peace on the front, this may be a good inside sentiment. We'll see. May all your wish Christmas wishes come true. Um, it's called Wishes Come True. And this is from Stamp Pendus. Mm, yeah, I don't know. This one's kind of filthy. They're both kind of filthy. But I... You know what? I think they're just on black. I think that's it. I think they're... No, they're on black rubber is why well, I'm thinking it's filthy. This has a lot of glitter in with it, but um, I don't really think I'm keeping this one. So this one's going aside. So this one, oh my God, I fell so in love. This is from Art Impressions. And this is, um, if you look at it, they're marked as T1696. There's a T1696 as well. This is considered front and back when they sell this. And um, I think this is like boy in snowsuit or something. I fell in love. I, it, just his little face. I'm picturing like a scene, like a tag with a no peeking. And he's like looking like in a window. I'm thinking about doing like a card where I, I, I put a window in the front and put this on the front. And then you open it up and then in the, in the inside will be this. There's a lot of things I kind of thought of with this little boy. And I just, I just fell in love. So... Um, these came off of eBay. They look brand new. Um, I, I would say that this is probably even a current product because I was finding a lot of things, a lot of there's boys and girls. Oh, there were, there were so many possibilities of different ones. They were so cute. And then a lot of these have been posting recently about Darcy. So I started to take a look at it and I found this heart. And I can see a lot of things like the, do this is like red ticking and, and fussy cut out that and pop it up. So um, I actually have two more on the way that are different styles and they haven't gotten here yet. And I can't wait to show you those ones as well. But I am seeing some great things with this. I am also seeing where you can tip put the ticking in the back, pop this up in the front, have some things peeking in this tells me there's a lot of um, possibilities. Now this just says S0406. Um, I've seen a couple of them out there on the market, truthfully. So, you know, I, I'm a big eBay. I, I got my start on things from eBay. So, you know, that's like kind of the first place I go. So if I say I got it, it's probably on eBay. So that is my stamps. Now this if you look at my prior videos, I did a series on the authentic papers and I just came out with a basic layout to do these cut aparts and I had bought this stuff online and if you've ever shopped authentic, the papers are pretty but they're pictures, again I come from an e-commerce world where my, my pictures when I upload have to be at a minimum like a thousand pixels and stuff so when I say this I'm not trying to sound snobby but it's just the expectations of the platforms that I sell on. I say that their pictures are horrible. You really can't see a lot of detail on Authentique's um, pictures. So when I ordered this, I was like, oh, you know, like I fell in love with these graphics. And I was like, oh. But then when they came and I started to work with them, I was in love with the papers on the background. So here is the actual paper that I made them with. It is called Christmas Greetings. And I don't know if there's an, a style number to it, but I'll go through the paper pack. They do, they advertise they have a lot of cut aparts, so they made this to be with a lot of cut aparts, but what you didn't get to see was the beautiful backsides to these papers. So these were the first sheets of cut aparts, and you get, um, looks like three. But look at the back. It's got this beautiful all over, like vintage ornament print, and it's in the red, and I'm like, there is so much I could do with that paper. Like I, I didn't want to, and I wasn't getting scraps because I'm cutting all of this. Now I did say that there were cut aparts I wasn't using like this with the Merry Christmas. 
that to me, I, that didn't seem like it would be good on a card front. Um, I'm not sure if I used that one. So, you know, I had like one little square of that. So I, I had to order this again so I could get the back. Um, this one I know I didn't use, this or this. I, again, they didn't fit the card front. This card back was kind of fun. Um, it, it has that icing look on black. So that to me would be great if I wanted to start doing some things with my um, gingerbreads and stuff. This one was really cute, but when I bought the papers, I bought them in individual sheets. And again, because I'm using them as a giveaway, I sell mostly Christmas. So anybody buying from me, I already know is celebrating Christmas or will have somebody in their life that's celebrating Christmas because you're not going to be buying, you know, Christmas ornaments and things like that, Christmas decor. I mean, at least in my opinion, maybe I'm wrong, but, um, I still try to keep away from in my, my marketing, giving away cards with a lot of religious. So I did not get this one, but when I saw the pack side, it is just this beautiful all over holly and evergreens and just all kinds of beautiful botanical prints. And I'm like, Oh, I, I really wanted to do something with that. So I had to buy more of this stuff. This one had a couple, but for the most part, again, I used all of this. And the back of this was like a, um, looks like almost like a counted cross stitch or tapestry kind of, um, no, it's a knit. It's a Christmas knit in like a Fair Isle Nordic. And I'm like, again, I, I could do this as a background. And I, I was like, I, I was missing out. I felt like I was missing out on not being able to, to use the back sides. So this was the other um, page of cut aparts. Again, didn't use some of these. Um, honestly, I think this one may have been sold out because I don't remember. Um, I don't remember seeing this one. Or no, I did because I do remember this back print of these reindeer. And it's kind of like in a diamond, um, the way they laid them out. So I hope you, my camera's focusing on that. It, it, it came out so pretty and um, just fell in love. Then you have the animals. Um, so, so cute. I, I did use those, but again, had two I, I didn't use. And the back of that to me was okay. I will definitely use them. It's a red and, and uh, green gingham. But I, I wasn't going to not get this paper pack. Um, you get how many of these all together? I didn't even take a count. This is from 2020. So you probably can find this. You may have to take a little bit of a, um, a look around to get a paper pack for that. So then what I also got was... This was from the collection Rejoice, and it says it is Rejoice 1, and this had bells all over it. Again, I'm, I'm looking for prints that I can also use um, for cards as backgrounds, and this has that beautiful plaid, and I know I can use that for a lot of things. So... A lot of intermixing. This was one I had a lot of that I used. I loved that as the strip um, that was going here. I thought it was really good because it has two, as a, in the background, it has a two tone gingham. So it's the bright green, or I'm sorry, bright red and the bur more burgundy red. So no matter what paper I was using in the back, it, it went with this. Beautiful, just winter print. Um, the background was this really fine striped all over. Again, great for anything Christmas related that I would want to do. So I bought out what they had. I shopped at a uh, frantic stamper. So I shopped out what she had of that. Um, you just saw I did the this strip in this like red random, uh, looks like almost like snow. This is magical two paper. Uh, this is from the collection called Magical. And it has, I don't know if you can see, but it has evergreens and some reindeer in there. Again, love, love, love this. Thought it would be great with um, being a background paper. 
like I said, these collections I bought out what she had. Um, this was the Magical Collection, and this is the Magical One. And when I say that, what happens is they take these paper packs, and when they sell these, you know, again, this is Authentique does it. They sell them in packs like this, and they sell them individually. If you notice, um, no, I thought they had a hole in them. They do not. But they all have what the collection name is, and this is Christmas Greetings, which is the collection, Christmas Greetings, and this is um, page six. So I have 18 in here. So what they do is this is this is the six of the print. This is the five. So when they sell these individual, they can break them out and know which ones are which paper that you're looking to buy. So the ones that I bought here, the seller, which was Frantic Stamper, bought them to sell individually and I like I said I bought what she had of individual this was the magical collection but it's the first print in the series and a cute pattern just a random of polka dots and look at the little kids they're opening they're decorating they're opening stockings she's pushing a baby like just all kinds of Christmas themed Christmas day activities cute 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 now these were more of the cut aparts, um, but they were not in a, they were of the, can't even speak today, I'm sorry. These were the same that were in that paper pack, but what I did was I bought the individual sheets because I want to be able to do more. Those cards were very quick for me to blow out, and like I said, I need thousands for the season. So I can also either do more of the cutouts to do um, the cards, or I have a lot of what I can do for the background because this this one especially with all of the um, ornaments, oh my God, I can just see how many things I want to do with that. And then um, this was Christmas greetings, same thing. And that was the, the reindeer on the back and like almost like a tall pattern. So I knew that I could do a lot with those. So this was my haul video um, that I have for basically the last like two weeks maybe. And one of my points I really wanted to say was um, thank you to Tina at Crafty Bean because um, you know, her, her saying that and then me seeing right after that the, the lesson of you have to see the stamps from the back really was poignant <laughs> at that period. And I wanted you to see the papers that I made over there. So I hope you enjoyed the haul video. If you're getting any inspiration from my videos, I'd love to have you as a subscriber so that we can, uh, you know, go back and forth with our or sharing of our, our cards and crafts and things. I enjoy watching everybody's videos. It's, it's awesome. Oh, one last thing was I won this as a door prize at my uh, weekend away, and it's some... Um, uh, red, green, and white. So I had that for a twine. I thought that was cute. I got some other things that I won in the door prize, which was like blue dots and some foam tape. So yep. thanks for watching. I'll see you.